Uh, hi, my name is Derek McPherson. Uh, I'm a first officer on the Dash 8 Q400 out of Toronto. I joined the uh, Air Cadet program when I was 10 back in Vancouver and I uh, got my private pilot's license through them. Uh, from there I went to the University of Waterloo where I went through the Science and Aviation program. Uh, I later became a flight instructor there at the Waterloo Wellington Flight Centre and I joined Jazz this past April. Uh, I've been uh, taking pictures uh, really since I was a little kid. Uh, not always of, of planes, I've been taking pictures of uh, landscapes and animals and, and things in my life. It's always been a really big passion for me. Uh, but uh, aviation's also been a really big passion for me. Uh, and uh, during high school I used to go down to the airport just uh, for a little bit of stress relief. I took my camera out and uh, take some pictures and uh, I've been doing it ever since. It's been uh, a fun hobby and uh, a way for me to uh, put two passions together. I think I like photography and flying for a lot of the same reasons. Uh, I think getting to look at the world in a different way is a really cool thing to be able to do. And whether or not that's through a camera lens and uh, taking something ordinary and making it look a little bit special or seeing the world in a different way uh, from the flight deck of a plane, I think uh, it's cool to get a new perspective on the world. Uh, I grew up in Vancouver and so I started taking pictures out there. I think the mountains make for a really, really uh, interesting setting and uh, a nice backdrop. So if you ever get the chance to go out to Vancouver, uh, I'd really recommend checking out the city. And for those of you who are uh, interested in planes and maybe even taking pictures of planes, a uh, trip to the uh, Vancouver airport is, is always recommended. I think I usually still keep flying and work pretty separate, but down the line I think the chance to go to more places and check out more cities, uh, I think it's going to open the door for a lot of things as far as photography goes. Uh, I'm going to be flying to Newfoundland later today and I'm looking forward next time I'm back to going on a hike and, and checking out some of the scenery around there and uh, just getting to take in some more, uh, more landscapes and get some more photos. Um, I mean, it's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. I think just getting to uh, getting to fly in the front of an actual plane with actual people in the back, uh, it's a big responsibility, but it's something I've been looking forward to for a really long time, and I think a lot of people can, uh, can attest to that feeling. One of my favorite places to take pictures of planes that I've, I've had the opportunity to go to uh, is there's a beach right at the end of the uh, at the end of the runway in Los Angeles, and uh, I was lucky enough to be on vacation there, uh, and uh, I was uh, actually there with family at the time, and uh, it just so happened that I had my camera with me, and it's the place where basically as the planes take off they go right over the palm trees. And so it's the chance to get some pictures with planes leaving over this nice tropical background. Uh, but you also get to be on a beach, so I <laughs> really recommend it. Uh, I was a flight instructor for a couple years at the Waterloo Wellington Flight Center. Uh, and when I was there, uh, I had students everywhere from 16 years old to their late 60s. And I think for people who get the bug to, to fly, to, to chase that dream, um, whatever age they're at, I think it was something incredibly special for me, uh, getting to take these students and people who've always had that dream and, and getting them to their goal, whether that be just a private pilot's license uh, or people who have their, their hearts set on the airlines down the line as well. Uh, so I would highly recommend if anyone's interested in flying at, at some point or uh, has, uh, has ever had that passion or ever had that bug to, uh, to chase it if you can. Uh, I went through the uh, Air Cadet program, which may not be for everyone, uh, but it's, uh, that is one great way in Canada to at least get a private pilot's license without having to pay for it. And there's no greater feeling than getting to see the world like that from, from up above, from flying through the clouds and going to new cities and taking people or teaching people or, or whatever it is. I think it's a really special industry uh, and I'm very lucky to be a part of it.